poor little Texas, all burned up by the summer sky. Now it's even fall, and nary a drop of water in the last 92 days here. That which was once green is dry, dry. See the horses in a cloud of dust, looking for something to nibble. <laughs> well, this project is about my pond, and uh, yeah, I'm digging a pond in the middle of a drought. And I think that's the right time to dig it when all you have is a little tractor. So I'm flying over the tractor now and walking down into it. I'm digging a pond here that'll probably hold 20 or 30,000 gallons of water. It held all the way up until early October of this year. Last year it made it into August. So I'm hoping by digging it out here that it'll, uh, it'll make it all the way uh, through the year and the horses can drink out of it. The cattle are hungry creatures and oh there's about 30 of cattle 20 or 30 and they'll drink this dry and did in fact but um boy this year the the grass is the color this isn't brother or what where art thou colors there's no filter on here this is actually what's happened <laughs> what you see me is using the backhoe right now trying to uh, break up the uh, clay and the clay forms in these uh octagon shape real thick what I call dragon scales and they sound like ceramic when I drop them on each other but I can't bulldoze that I have to uh, each remove each one of those clay with the backhoe and then I turn around and I come in with the tractor and I pick it up well this doesn't look particularly dangerous from the sky it looks tranquil and peaceful well you can roll a tractor over on just a few degrees of land and I've got quite a hole in there four foot hole all the way around on both sides and so I had to build some earth ramps to get down in there I am so tired of uh, the dust and uh, the Sun <laughs> and the heat other parts of the nation saying oh the snow's already flying and I still have 90 degree days plus 90 plus days not a drop of water to be found just as dry as it can be. I don't know how the pioneers did it. I honestly don't. I could not imagine. All those uh, trees you see there, the mesquite, uh, you can grind those seed pods up, pods and all, and make flour. And I know they did do that, but I just could not see making it. Right now in my neck of the woods, there is uh, less people now than there was in the early 1900s. Uh, there's a ghost town named Kovar, I've talked about it before. It used to have a cotton mill and schoolhouses and three churches and a post office and dry goods. And uh, now you can't even find it. It's gone, gone. Just a memory for the folks that went to the school there. So what I'm doing is now I'm scooping up the, the dragon scales that I chiseled out of the ground with the backhoe and uh, scooping those up, getting them in a bucket and taking them over and dropping them off on uh, a horse trail that I'm building up. The horses don't like to uh, get their feet wet. So when it does flood, and what you're looking at here that doesn't have any water at all, has been underwater before. Uh, I've seen it every year <laughs> underwater. Anyway, I'm building up that horse trailer, uh, trail so they don't walk down my driveway. When the horses walk down my driveway, their hooves dig in and then the rain falls on it and then it makes the drive soft and then the uh, before I know it I'm stuck so uh, a path for the horses and a path for the humans uh, that's what I have to do here what I'm working on but I'm open by digging this thing out I'm, I want to change it to uh, oh the 15,000 20,000 gallons it holds now to 50,000 gallons or more some deep spots maybe even uh, right now I'm this pass I'm going to get it to uh, oh I don't know four foot five foot we'll take a look here around and see where there's some water for the cattle well there's my other pond that thing's probably uh, seven foot deep I'm gonna guess there's a neighbor stock pond that's deeper than mine it's still got water but those fields they they are sure weedy sure weedy and burned over nothing for the cattle I see another stock pond out there holding water 
So if you get them deep enough here, they can survive as long as the uh, they don't evaporate. So what I'm working on with this dock pond is uh, narrow and a small solar footprint and deep. Deep with an earth ramp where the horses can wade down in. Similar to this, you can see the front of the stock pond. The horses can come in and cattle and horses can come into the front and uh, wade in and get a drink. It held water last year. It looks like it's going to hold water all the way through this year. It's mighty thin though. Mighty thin. These trees all look pretty scrubby too. <laughs> I don't know how they're doing it either. This it is just so uh, insanely dry in Texas. Insanely hot. This is central Texas near Austin. Little city called Flatonia, which is a whole lot of nothing. Well, here I am chiseling out that dirt on the other end. Just chiseling it and chiseling it. Just keep going and going. It's the only way that I can cut through this surface and, and move it at all. If I try just to use the bucket, it'll just uh, skip off the top. That's all it does. Just skip off the top. Moon boulders is what they look like. Looks like I'm mining the surface of the moon. <laughs> I'm not. It's Texas. All dust. Well, there you have it. 